Hey guys, how are you doing? It's Simon from BizLearn. Hi and welcome to the first video of my brand new tutorial series, Annex Freeform Modeling Secrets. Why am I talking about secrets? Well, I've seen so many videos on YouTube concerning the freeform commands like spline or the, the surface creation commands, but I have seen less videos concerning the analysis commands. And if you are a designer or willing to create a design surface, which shall be smooth and aesthetic, you should always work with curve analysis. And by the way, even if you're not creating design surface, it makes sense to think about analysis and to think about the geometry behind the spline function, because people used to use a spline by points, not by poles. They don't know the difference. They think there is a difference, but there in general is no difference. It's just the kind of preview which you see to handle the splines, but the spline itself is the same. But nevertheless, I want to show you the secrets behind within a couple of videos just concerning this magic mouse design, which I'm going to do. I've created a first design here by use of splines and decided afterwards to create a design with the X form instead because the X form has one benefit. You can directly see during your modification how the behavior of the surface is, meaning I'm using X form in combination with the curvature analysis, for example, or reflection analysis, because you always get a direct display of the behavior. But anyway, we should start somewhere. And today I'm just going to show you how to import template pictures, which I have in here, which I use as a template. And I'm going to show you how to add transparency. There are a lot of videos concerning the image import, however, but anyway, this is how I start and I do it a little bit different because I usually start with an extrude with a block where I'm going to add the pictures to. And therefore, I'm going to create a new file. And before I import my images, I'm going to create a block, which I'm going to reuse for my construction. So it makes sense to do that, which is located on my top plane. And I'm going to draw a rectangle from center. Why from center? Because if you have a look at the magic mouse, you can just imagine it is symmetric in both ways. So it really makes sense to have your center here. It looks a little bit like a magic mouse, doesn't it? But to make it more look like a magic mouse, we're going to import our images first via tools, raster image and specify plane first then choose your image file. This is the progress. Always specify your plane first and then choose your image file because it's more complex the other way around. This is my side image first. And you can see the image original is on the lower left. So I'm going to move this to my lower left. And I'm going to define size, not by drag and drop. I have values which I'm going to reuse. And I also want some transparency in here. So I'm going to set transparency to pixel color. And you can see here is my first image. Here are my expressions, by the way. And I'm going to add another image for my front and for my top. You can see I forgot to define transparency on my second image. So the question now is how can I access this image? Not from here. You can see there's only a deletion possible. And if I start raster image command, it is not possible to edit something in here. So I have to access this image. The problem is if you move your mouse upon this position, it is hard to access. You always have to use a quick pick. And now you can see it's hide, edit display, deletion. So there is no editing function. And there's a little trick, you just have to double click now. After you select it via quick pick, just double click and you have access to your image settings. That's it. The first video about freeform modeling secrets is about how to import images, which I'm gonna reuse as a template within the next videos. If you do like the video, just give me a like. If you have any questions concerning what I've shown or what I'm gonna show in the future, 
use the comment function. It would be a pleasure for me to talk to you. If you want to be updated automatically about new video uploads concerning freeform modeling and general things about CMS and X, subscribe this channel. I wish you a nice day. Goodbye.